Hi guys, it's HikerBoy16. What I want to show you today is how to easily and cheaply waterproof matches. I don't know about you, but when I bought factory waterproof matches, they don't work very well. Uh, for one, they're more expensive, and they're not easy to light. They just don't work very well. In my experience, you, you usually have to press harder to get them to light, and sometimes that extra pressure can cause the match stick to break. Um, so what I'm going to show you is how I now waterproof matches. Uh, the first thing you'll want to want to get is a candle. Uh, what I prefer to get uh, is some large candle like this. Uh, it, it's big enough so you can get a nice little pool of wax, as you can kind of see in there. Uh, it doesn't have to look pretty. Obviously, mine doesn't, and that's fine. So what you do is you take one little match. I'm going to use this one here. And you stick it in. You kind of roll it around in the pool of molten wax. What I like to do is I'll, I'll hold it in the air for it to air dry for about 10 seconds. And then after after it's got enough of a hardness there so that it won't stick to a piece of paper, I'll put it right on right on the paper there and let it dry. Now, I've been letting these particular matches, I have two long stem fireplace matches and one single regular match in there. They've been sitting in water for, oh, probably at least five minutes now. And earlier I did a video, the same video, trying to use my webcam, but something went wrong with my computer, and I've been, I'm being plagued with technical difficulties. And they had been sitting in the water for about 25 to 30 minutes. Uh, but So I had to start over. So what I'm going to show you, if I can position my camera properly, because I'm using my phone at the moment, I'm going to show you how, how easy it is to light uh, matches, even though they have been submersed in water uh, for a while. So give me one second while I position my camera. Let's see, how am I going to do this? Okay. Um, all right. So what I'm going to do with the with the long stem matches, I'm going to take off part of the uh, part of the stem because for some reason these fireplace matches they're just kind of brittle. Okay. Now, here comes the hard part. <laughs> the hard part is getting the camera angle right. Okay. All right. So, I've got this waterproof mat that has wax on it. It's been dried and everything has been soaked in water. I'm going to shake off the water. Now I'm going to light it. Just like that. And yes, I realize I got wax on my uh, table table there. And the wax actually does seem to it does seem to actually give it more of an accelerant. Um, so I like that. And also you want to make sure you scrape off any wax that's built up on your paper there. And then of course the the other little mat here hang on one second, I knocked my camera over. This other little match, the regular match, let me shake off the water. Okay. All right, so I'm going to do this one now. And there we go. Took a couple tries, but it popped right into being. Uh, and so that is what I like to use to waterproof my matches. It works well. Uh, what I, one thing I would recommend is that when you do that, and you store them in a container and that container moves around much, that you check every six months or so and perhaps even replace the matches that uh, that are in there, you know, first in, first out as a rule. And that way you can give yourself freshly waterproof matches and then you can use your other matches for whatever, the, the ones you've already waterproofed. So anyway, that is my video for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you. And uh, thank you for subscribing. Have a great day.